Hi, I'm looking at Earth Knoll School, and uh, this is my recording device, and I have it turned up all. And it still doesn't record my voice very well. It says it is, but I'm not sure what's going on. So this is uh, Earth Knoll School, and this, if you go to 250 on the height, that shows your jet streams levels. And you can control it by going back a day, forward a day, and these are three hour periods. All you got to do is highlight them and it tells you what's going on. Different particle sizes, sulfate ex extinction. Not sure about that one. <clears throat> So anyway, if you look on here, this is the northern hemisphere, there should be two jet streams. They used to be at 30 degrees, or 60 degrees and 30 degrees. And then you would go to the southern hemisphere and there would be two jet streams at 30 degrees and 60 degrees. See, here's all your information down here. But now it's just a big mess. If anybody can pick out two distinct jet streams, I congratulate them. Same here. Look at it. It's just a cluster. So this is why the weather is so erratic. There's no... stability anymore. And then we can look at chemicals, uh, lots of coal in China, and there's fires up here in uh, Canada. So this is supposedly permafrost. So all the methane's bubbling up, maybe probably burning, whatever's going on. As all this melts, you're going to get more and more methane, less oxygen. And here's the temperatures. You can have Fahrenheit, Kelvin, or Celsius. So in America, we go Fahrenheit because we're Americans. So here's the North Pole. It's above freezing. The North Pole is above freezing. The only big piece of ice left is Greenland in the Northern Hemisphere. So it's still cool a little bit here. But once all this ice melts, that's the air conditioner of the Earth. That means temperatures will rise worldwide. And over here in Russia, it's getting pretty warm. This is, you know, a lot of wheat growing over here in uh, Ukraine and stuff. So if it gets too warm, the wheat won't grow very well. Look at this. You're not going to grow much here in China. 108. You're not going to grow much wheat there or corn. This is all desert. So this this is desert area. That's the way the jet streams worked out, this it was desert. And then you go 30 degrees below, and that's sort of deserty down here. Deserty down here at 30 degrees. So there's different zones. Well, there used to be. There's not anymore, really. So as this heats up, then the land heats up, and the crops are going to grow less abundantly because all you got to do is I just found this one right away it says uh, temperatures hard 95 degrees stuff will not grow as well which is reasonably obvious if you're a farmer you know that um, so you want that sweet spot you know the 85 degree days for your corn to grow and your wheat but now that everything's so different there's no stability and plus, crops haven't been planted here in a lot of the central United States because it's still all wet and flooded. So they get a late planting and then get hot temperatures and maybe they're going to have a horrible harvest and you will see the food prices rise accordingly. And then... Uh,
you've got all kinds of things to pick on here. All you got to do is come on here and click around. I'll leave a link. And then here's, you can pick anomalies, find the hot spots in the ocean. But I lost my temperatures in the ocean. goes away. Where's my temperature go away? I used to get ocean temperatures. I'm missing something right now. Anyway, this area is getting too hot for even fish to live anymore, so all the coral reefs are dying, and it doesn't look good, but uh, we still want to have our bread to eat. Anyway, I'll leave a link below. There's all kinds of stuff to look at on this site. It's a great site. If you can hear me.